Education Consultant with ICO Consulting, and I'm going to run through a quick how-to for leveling up your dashboards. So let me share my screen. And the scenario here is that you are doing a dashboard as a way to report out and quickly check up on a website redesign project. Um, what I'm showing you here is in Smartsheet, um, but we work with a lot of different tools at Echo and these sort of tips for dashboards would work no matter what tool you are using to produce them. So I come in and I actually have, at my organization, I've got a template for producing a dashboard. I had a nice project plan and my template for making a dashboard kind of spits out this format. I've got some information about the project overall, status, health, percent complete, schedule, you kind of scroll down, looking at different metrics about the tasks for that project. And this is something at Echo we call a CRADE report. It's something that's used in project management to help track uh, criti uh, change requests, risks, uh, action items, um, issues, and decisions, just to give you some context around that. Now, the problem, this actually doesn't do a terrible job of giving you a summary view of all the information that relates to this project. This is really sort of the first instinct when building a dashboard is like, let's try to get in everything high level that we can. We've got a schedule. We've got a little bit about budgets. We've got a nice little graphic about open tasks. The problem with this for someone sitting down a project manager or even a higher level person is that it doesn't really give you any call to action. There is nothing that it points to that you know, oh, I need to act on this in relation to this project. This is probably going to make your eyes glaze over just a little bit um, because it's just a sort of such a high level, such a summary view um, that you're not really sure what to do next with it. So a few tips for making this dashboard more actionable. I'm going to switch over to a draft redesign and you can see I actually kept exactly the same visuals and graphics and did a little bit of rearrangement. We like to talk about putting the most important actionable things above the fold. So right where your eyes are here at the top, we've got open tasks by health. You can immediately see how your tasks are doing as well as important metrics on those tasks. And the call out of what those specific tasks actually are that are at risk and past due. This is using the report function within Smartsheet. Our CRADE log, we moved those, those were way below the fold and moved them up here. So you can quickly see those metrics and the call out of the criticals and highs, as well as a helpful graphic on how many tasks are assigned to specific people. And a widget here that lets you do quick links to, if you want to get the full context for any of these, you can quickly find it through this quick links widget. And your, other, I could actually move this around a bit. I've still got a budget item floating around down here. I'll move that up just a little bit. And I've still got this high level project view, but it's now not the thing that my eyes first see when I open this up. I've also adjusted as you kind of look back and forth. I've made some of these widgets just a little bit smaller. You don't need such a big space for your project status update, unless there's something specific about a project that you think that would be useful. We still have it here, but we've made it a bit smaller. Um, same with uh, rearranging some of these widgets, just to, again, get the most important actionable things right up top so that if someone's looking at this, they know what they need to do next. I need to focus on these red tasks. I need to uh, follow through and see what's happening with these critical and high crate items. Another thing that we like to do in Smartsheet is make sure that the widgets themselves are linked to the underlying information. That's something you can easily do through the settings in Smartsheet. So make sure if someone is looking at this and they do want the full context or they do want more of that high level view, they can actually click into any of these items and see, oh, here's the report that goes into more detail about all of this. But you've gotten them, you've sort of led them there by giving them a nice visual that gets, the, gets them important information right here at the top of the dashboard. You might always need to create more visuals or add in a little bit more, but hopefully that gives you a sense of where to start to level up your dashboards, make them more actionable, both for project managers, but also for higher level management. 
And this is going to allow everyone to get the view that they need that enables them to really move projects forward, not just have eyes glaze over looking at a bunch of metrics um, and high, higher level summaries that don't really tell you what's going on. For more tips and tricks, check out the uh, Echo Consulting YouTube channel. We've got a lot more on there about Smartsheet and other um, project management techniques and methods that we recommend. And you can always reach out to us via our website as well. Thank you.